Hi everyone. This is the installation video for our engine mounted O2 sensor enhancer. This is for a narrow band oxygen sensor. And uh, this is how the wiring is. This is the green wire. It's ground. It's always ground. It's always green. It's always in the middle uh, mounted. It comes out, out of the middle of the unit here. The red wire is the supply line, 12 volt. The, uh, this inner wire here coming out is the input wire. It goes from the O2 sensor into the enhancer. This is the output wire. It goes from the enhancer box to the computer. Um, the ground wire should always be connected to either the engine block or the battery negative or battery ground wire. The red wire should be attached to the fuel pump circuit because the fuel pump circuit is only active when the engine is turned on. Um, what you'll need is um, some hookup wire. This is 90 feet of hookup wire. It's 22 gauge stranded wire and you can get it at Radio Shack for about five or six dollars for a 90 foot roll. That's enough for you to do several vehicles or probably a dozen vehicles. Um, the enhancers come with these, well if it's, a, if it's a single O2 enhancer it will come with two of these crimp terminals and I'll show you how to install those. The first thing you'll need to do is locate your oxygen sensor. This is an oxygen sensor. It's a four-wire heated oxygen sensor. That This is common on most uh, American vehicles. Um, some of them do have AFR sensors uh, that look very similar to this, but uh, AFR sensor would have five or six wires coming out of it. Um, so you'll locate the O2 sensor. You won't take the O2 sensor out of the exhaust. You'll just locate them. Some cars have two, some have one, and we're looking for the O2 sensors that are located between the engine block and the catalytic converter. So after you've found them, one or two or however many you have, you want to inspect the outside of it. This one does still work, however, if you notice the outside of it is very dirty. The outside of the O2 sensor does react with oxygen. So it's very important that the outside of the sensor stays very clean. So if, if it happens that you find your sensor and it's dirty, like this one is, you can clean the outside of this with some uh, isopropyl alcohol and a clean cloth. Uh, make sure you don't get any fingerprints on this. Make sure you don't get any oil on this. Make sure you just don't touch the outside of the sensor. Uh, and if you do, make sure that you clean it off very well. So we'll be looking at the wiring follow the, the O2 sensor back to the plug and you can unplug it. There's just a little tab that you press in and, and you can pull it out um, for doing the installation. This one already has two connectors attached to it because I found the uh, output wire. And how do you find the output wire? Well, with the enhancer, with the uh, O2 sensor still plugged in, You'll take a needle, like a sewing needle or a safety pin, and you'll start to pierce the wires one at a time and measure the voltage coming from these wires. It's DC voltage. It should fluctuate between 0.1 and 0.9 volts DC, and it should fluctuate uh, very erratically when the engine is warmed up. So you'll inspect the wires, and usually you'll have four wires, and two of them will be the same color. These two are white. That's the heater supply lines for the O2 sensor. We don't have to worry about those. The other two wires are for the O2 sensor signal and O2 sensor signal return. We only need the O2 sensor signal wire, and that's the one that will fluctuate between 0.1 and 0.9 volts. So once you've located that, you want to take some nippers 
and the wire, this black wire here, I cut it already, but you would just cut the wire, the output wire. You'll take one of these easy connectors and saying that this is the wire coming from the O2 sensor, we'll stick it into this crimp tool here, this easy connector, up until the point where it doesn't go anymore. Then you'll take your hookup wire, slip it into the other hole, take a pair of pliers, and crimp the connector closed. That's it. The connection has been made. You close the cover that covers the uh, terminal, and you're done. Uh, the connection has been made. Then you'll run this back, the hookup wire, and if that's connected to the O2 sensor side of the circuit, you'll bring it back and attach it to the input going into the enhancer. And to do that, we just strip a little bit of the wire, maybe a quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch, you place it into the crimp terminal as far as it will go, and it just won't go anymore. You take a pair of uh, strippers, and here on the end, wire strippers, there's two settings. One is for a, a wide crimp, and one is for a narrow crimp. So you'll take the one for the narrow crimp, and I'm not going to crimp this one, but you just squeeze it, crimp it, and, it, and the wire is attached. Then you'd go back and do the same thing for the wire that's attached to the plug. As you can see here, I've already attached uh, one of the crimp tools. And I'd, you'd crimp it on, and you'd take the, that wire, and it leads back to the output from the O2 sensor enhancer. So the output goes to the wire attached to the plug. And you take that, same, same deal, you'd put it into the uh, crimp connector as far as it can go. That's for the output of the sensor. You put it as far as it can go. Crimp it. The connection has been made. The connections are now made to your sensor and to your, to your enhancer. These represent these two wires. Okay? These would represent your ground and your power supply. And the only thing you would do for that, same thing, you'd take some hookup wire, strip the end, place it into the positive 12 volt, crimp the wire, connections made, then you'd run this to your um, fuel pump circuit, which you can find a fuse in your fuse box for the fuel pump circuit, and then you can attach the wire to the same circuit. Or you could attach it to, if you're running with a hydrogen generator, you can attach this lead to the positive lead to your hydrogen generator. That way, when the generator is turned on, your enhancer box will also be turned on. Same thing for ground. You take some hookup wire, crimp it to the grounding wire, run that to a point on your engine block or to the battery ground. And that's it. That's all you have to do.